actress Charlotte Riley from playing Catherine Earnshaw in the ITV adaptation of Wuthering Heights and also for playing May Carlton in Peaky Blinders. You'll also know actor Joe Alwyn from films like The Favourite, Boy Erase and Mary Queen of Scots. They're here now because they're both appearing in a new three-part adaptation of the Charles Dickens novella A Christmas Carol. It's been adapted by the creator of Peaky Blinders, uh, Stephen Knight, so expect a truly <laughs> terrifying version with lots of snow and Joe and Charlotte. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And you shaved hair at the sides. <laughs> oh, yeah. It could be a thing, couldn't it? I suppose the thing is, Joe, that when you hear, oh, they're going to make a Christmas carol, you think, OK, well, we've seen that. We know what that's all about. But, mm. of course, this is something completely and utterly over there, isn't it? And it different. is. It's got a slightly twisted and darker take on it. I think in the past we've obviously seen the story done so many times in Dickens adaptations, and they can be good fun, but they can be quite glossy and cheery. And this one certainly goes deeper into Scrooge's own pain and some quite uncomfortable themes. Guy Pierce is Scrooge, and he's a troubled individual in this, isn't he? He is. He's got yeah. his own demons and secrets in the past that it digs into a little that bit. That affects your character quite a lot, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, so you're Bob Cratchit, right? Yes, I play Bob, and you spend more time with him at home as well and his own family, and it introduces his wife, Mary, and there are kind of cracks beneath the surface, and there's a secret there that it comes about. And uh, sister Lottie, right? Yeah. So that's the ghost of Christmas present. Absolutely, yeah. I think that's what attracted a lot of us to wanting to do it as well, because... It could be everything we've already seen, but, you know, he's super smart, this Steve Knight. He's taken a character, made her Scrooge's sibling. Yeah. So we get to see and understand more about Scrooge and his psychology through this relationship. It's her love for him that brings her back to give him a good old kick up the yeah. proverbial. And it's almost like Dickens knew somehow the future that we could turn these stories into anything we want and apply them to the modern day. Even the Muppets Christmas Carol. Yeah. I mean, you can even turn <laughs> yeah. this into Kermit That's exactly the Frog. That's what I was thinking. Of. <laughs> That's where you were going with oh, this, no! right? <laughs> That is testament to the writing that well, these quite, themes yeah, are, exactly. are still yeah. relevant, aren't yeah. they? Did you look at other adaptations? No. I, I had them in the back of my mind. Not from the Muppets. Decided, what about you? Did you? I don't think I've ever really seen any other adaptations. I've never seen the Muppets one yet. <laughs> There's still time. Um, First of all, when you got the role, do you then go and read the book? Or did you not go back and read the original text? Like they wouldn't have read the book at school? Well, they might not. No, <laughs> actually, I've not. I've, I've never not read, read the book. either. Really? Uh, There's been a lot of things that I've done that have been novels that I've chosen. Wuthering Heights, I chose to read the book. It was particularly useful. And this time I chose not to because the character was so different from what I knew existed in the novel mm. that I just thought, just go with what's there on the page. Mm. Steve's mm. created that. It wasn't until seeing it the other day, though, for the screening, I didn't fully realise quite how dark bits of it were going to be, yeah. both thematically and also the way it's been shot. It's a very particular world that it's painted as. It's more in line with Peaky Blinders. Yeah. What's the big secret of Peaky Blinders, do you think? For me, because I wasn't part of the first season, so I watched it like everybody else yeah. going, what the heck is this? This yeah. is so fresh and different. And I think they've just done this really brilliant juxtaposition between the period and then bringing it up to modern day with the music, with the language. There's the freedom for the actors to just really bring these people alive. And I think it's just themes that people can really get behind with all the brilliant costumes and the music. It's just the perfect recipe, I think. Yeah. Do you guys know something is likely to be a hit? Because you think about Peaky Blinders and you think, where did that come from? Do you think about that? Or do you just do something and you think, OK, well, this is a good piece and I like the people working on it and all the rest of it? I don't think you ever really know how anything's no. going to turn out. And I'm... also, I don't think you can do it for that reason. I think you can't do anything creative for there being a goal of it being successful at the end, otherwise you're just sorely disappointed. Because I mean, the scripts say a huge amount, but you can have a cracking script and it just doesn't work on screen. Yeah. We're going to wish you to a Merry Christmas, and you can see Joe Alwyn and Charlotte Riley in A Christmas Carol. It begins on BBC One on Sunday, continuing on Monday, and concluding on Christmas Eve at 9pm. So, this is all good slots, it's mm. all good. It's good. Joe and Charlotte, everybody, thank you. Thank you for having us.